course, as I say this, I'm opening up Google. <laughs> it's a little awkward to get to my keyboard compared to my uh, setup for recording. Okay, so that little cave there, I've gone through it. I know it leads up to the top area of Anu Shore, but at the top area, there are only Stella X and a uh, signature enemy X, so... I know that there aren't any anvils up there, whatever the heck anvils are. Really wish that I could reach my keyboard. Where's my galaxy tab? I should use that. I don't know where my galaxy tab is. That's less than ideal. Let's see if I can just bring my keyboard a little closer to me instead. Alright, let's see if the anvils are here. If not, I've already managed to type in Xenoblade Chronicles. I just have to type in Sap Cave now. <laughs> and then, of course, I still have to figure out... Even if I figure out where Sap Cave is, I still have to figure out where the anvils are afterwards. Anvils aren't those flying enemies, are they? I don't think so. Swim faster, Shulk. What the heck is that right there? Go, oh, something I don't want to mess with. Okay, so it looks like there are only strong things here. Are those? Those are Pagul. Okay. Not Anvol. So obviously on the shore here, we have a bunch of high-level enemies that I don't want to mess with. What about those flying things? Those aren't Anvols. No, they're Hilm. I remember having to hunt some of those down for a quest. Nebula... More Kramar that are, like, way too high level for me to deal with. I don't know where Anvils spawn. Curse you, quests, and your material gaining shenanigans. Okay, let me see what it says about Sap Cave here. Where is it? Oh, okay, I know where it is. All right, let's not worry about the anvils for right now. Because now I know how to get to, uh, I know where Sap Cave is. I know where it is. Go here. It's behind a Magna Brog, apparently. At the pool to the south of the contaminated area where we found ah. Melia. Oh, hey, look at that. It comes up on the screen as uh, exclamation marks. Cool. So it should be, like, through the waterfall, I think, behind the brog. According to Wikipedia. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, right there. That thing should be blocking it. It sure enough is, I can tell. What level are you? 31? Easy kill if I need to. Can I just slide in behind you instead? Nope. You've got an invisible wall all around yourself. Well, you gotta die, buddy. Shouldn't have chose to sit here. Can't see me. As soon as he turns back to Ryan, then I'll kill him. Oh yeah, sword drive. Over 30k damage. Backslash is stupid strong, and I don't even have the skill that adds the like extra damage to it. Here we are, Sap Cave. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Sweet, got all of the Algora sap that we needed. This is actually a pretty neat area. I thought it would count as a secret area, but apparently not. Does it show up on the map now as saying Sap Cave, now that I've been to it? Yes, it does. See, I was expecting something like that to be there. All right, now I just have to find these, uh, what was it called? Anvul? Is that their name? Just switch to Frontier Village, it'll be quicker. To do Mystery of Magna Ruins. There should be a fourth quest, by the way. Agius Andos Oil from Flavel Andos at Aerith Sea. Okay. So it's at Aerith Sea, but I don't know what it is. It sounds like I'm going to need Google again. <laughs> so if you will give me just a second to type this in. Can I bring my... Oh, here we go. Just My keyboard is now where it should not be, right in front of me. 
Xenoblade Chronicles. Ah, oh, crud. What was it called? Something Anvil? Let me see the exact name of it. To make sure I don't accidentally look up the wrong thing. I've only got my hand on one of my, like... I'm using the Wiimote and Nunchuck, so I've only got my hand on one of the two items, so I can't press C. Whoops. What am I doing? I'm clicking buttons that I shouldn't be clicking. Where is it? There it is. I'm looking for... A, yeah, good luck pronouncing that. Aqueous, I guess? Aqueous... Andos Oil. Oh, no, I just need to put in a... Be easier if I just put in Flavel... Andos? Andos. There we go. Alright, Xenoblade Wiki. Tell me what I must know. Where do they spawn? Oh, it's those that Okay. I know what to do now. I didn't know that's what those were called. They're the little robot things. Alright, cool. This should be easy then. Uh, I did not need to do that. Alright, I know what we're doing now. Uh, I need to go to... Which hovering reef is it? Uh, eight? I think it's eight. Andos are those little robots that attacked us way back at the beginning of the game. Uh, some of them are in Hyantia Tomb, but way back at the beginning of the game when we went to... Uh, Pick up the ether cylinders at uh, Magmel Ruins. I fought a ton of them to get sturdy armor, but they apparently... Uh, sturdy armor is their basic drop. Their rare drop is the uh, oil that we need. It's those things right there. There are three of them that spawn here. It's really easy to just respawn myself back at the uh, one of the reefs next to this one. And they die really fast, too. They're not hard to kill. Die already. Be dead. There we go. Okay, now this chest means a silver chest means I should get it guaranteed rather than sturdy armor. Yep, there it is. And I already had two of them from when I came and fought these things to get sturdy armor. Sweet. All right, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I just couldn't remember the name of those enemies. But awesome. Let's go back to Frontier Village. Put my keyboard back where it goes really quick, so I don't accidentally knock it over or something while recording. That would be less than ideal. Uh, Ricky's house. I think it's day now, so I'm probably going to have to change the time again. But cool. We should be done with this quest now, which means we should only have one more. Unless we're also, with this same quest, going to have to go move the tomb. But I imagine that would be the purpose of the fourth quest. And then we move the coffin and find the giant item. Do -do, back to night. Thank you. I accidentally almost jumped off the edge right there. That would have been less than ideal. Yo, Lupa. What's up? Now I have all the materials to make lubricant oil. We must mix the Algora sap and Andos oil thoroughly. Okay. That will give us a smooth lubricant oil. Nice. So are we good? Uh, if friends use this on the coffin, then it should move easily. I look forward to hearing what lies beyond the coffin. Okay, so we're done with the third one. Right. So the fourth one is going to be moving the coffin. Yep, there it is, except, and you don't have an option other than that. We're going to get 10k EXP for this, holy cow. Oh, and now everyone's level 51, because that was a ton of experience, except Charlotte's a little behind. That is a lot of EXP. We should still, we're definitely not overleveled, though. I don't remember what the boss on Prison Island is. I want to say level 55, but I could be wrong, because Prison, or not Prison Island, I saw Prison Island and said Prison Island. I meant Sword Valley. I think the boss in Sword Valley is level 55, because you do a lot of fighting on your way through Sword Valley. Uh, where am I going? Magna. Back to, uh, Agni's Tomb. But cool, how much time I got left? About 20 minutes, so we're going to finish up this quest. We'll be done with this chain of quests that I wanted to do. And then we'll definitely have enough time to do uh, Dunban and Melia's... I hope that giant enemy didn't respawn, because I know that signature enemies always have a 30% chance of respawning when you come back to where you killed them. But it looks like it didn't, thank goodness. I did not want to fight it again. These giant antholes, though. Ugh. 
Giant spiders, man. Disgusting. All these bodies, though. How unfortunate. All right, let's move this bad boy. But we should have enough time to go do the fourth skill tree quests for... For, uh... Melia and Dunban. And as I speak of skill trees, I remember I need to check and make sure that no one has finished a fifth skill tree. Melia did while I was off screen, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that happened, if I already mentioned that last session or not, but I moved her on to Serenity because she finished Honesty. Uh, Dunman's getting close. It looks like, I think Ryan is next in line. Yeah, Ryan is the next to finish, followed by Ricky and Shulk. Probably Shulk, then Ricky, and then Sharla after that. And then Dunban will be not far behind, but okay, cool. No one's wasting SP right now is what's important. Out of my way. What is down here? The item I require? Hello. This looks just like the one that we found in Satoru Marsh, doesn't it? I think it does. There's only a treasure chest in the center of a small room. Let's go and tell Lupa. Can I take whatever's in the treasure chest first? Hello. Did I get it? What is it? Eater records and battle soul. Oh, are these books? These aren't giant items at all. Wait a minute, books. Oh, that reminds me of something else. Uh, I was in the Hyantia tomb getting items, and I uh, accidentally found, like, a tomb treasury or something like that by mistake while I was looking for items, and it gave me an advanced book. Oh, hey, look, summon... Yeah, uh, Battle Soul, which is the art that I hate the most for Shulk. I now have to level 10. <laughs> Eater Records. Allows anyone who studies it to learn the Eater Monado art? Hello? Eater has been learnt? I don't know what that is. Uh, advanced. Allows Melia to learn further levels of this art. But now she can, she's can. she got Summon Bolt, which to me is her best uh, one to max level. But wait a minute. We just got a Monado art? Is that what that meant? Yeah, we did eat her. The Monado's power consumes enemies, including any buffs. That is a lot of damage. I was looking at it relative to Buster compared to the level it's at. Uh, it inflicts bleed, too. Holy cow, that's awesome. It only uses medium instead of large of the talent gauge. I'm gonna level this up. Also, we have a ton of AP, so I should do that so long as I'm doing, like, a non-story session. Bleed damage goes up a very nice amount. And the Monado is already leveled up, so I can just take it, like, as far as I want. So let's get it to level 5, I guess. I'm gonna leave Purge at 4. And... I think I'm gonna up speed, because that's probably my favorite of the Monado arts. Eater. That is really cool. Bleed damage is very, very nice. I think I might end up using that more than the Buster. Buster does five, about 5,000, and then Eater does about... Kind of, you know, if you take the middle of that, about 2,800, but then it also inflicts bleed damage for 20 seconds of about 550. So I think that about evens out to the same amount of damage relative to the amount of the 20 seconds going by. But it also, uh uses less of the talent gauge to use Eater as opposed to Buster. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, Battle Soul can now go all the way to level 10, but as you know, I absolutely hate Battle Soul. It's my, uh, Battle Soul? Battle Soul. It's my least favorite art for Shulk, so I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get Slit Edge and... Can I up both of these? No, I can only up one of them. I'm gonna get Slit Edge to level 7. Next time, I'm gonna get Backslash to level 7. Who else needs to use stuff? Everyone. Let's go ahead and up Heal Bullet again. Uh, Cure Bullet can go up one more. It's pretty useful. Drive Boost is new. Uh, reduces cooldown of all arts except Drive Boost. Ooh. Ooh. That's highly tempting. Looking to see if there's anything else. Cure Round removes debuffs grants a period of... That's to everyone. Effect time is five seconds. Let me look at Cure Bullet. Because I think I might get rid of Cure Bullet for Cure Round. So after a couple of level ups, it'll be basically the same amount of, uh, the same amount of effect time. Yeah, I'm just going to level this up and replace Cure Bullet with Cure Round. That sounds smart. I need to get Cure Round's book next. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I really want this, uh, Drive Boost. That's really useful. I think I might get rid of Covert Stance for it. Could get rid of Shield Bullet, but that's so much damage immunity. Like, Shield Bullet really helps. Hmm, 